let me share with y'all my uh, um, Oscar story. Uh, that is the Oscars, the Academy Awards. I actually watched them and not thinking that I was going to. Let me explain what happened. I was um, hanging out with my dad last night, my newly, uh, um, unfortunately, widowed father. Um, I was hanging out one more day uh, after everybody else had left. And uh, we were just sitting, eating Chinese food. We watched the Hawks game. <laughs> we saw the Hawks lose. And uh, and then my dad said, hey, you want to watch the Academy Awards? And I was thinking, oh, are they on now? Because <laughs> I usually don't. I usually avoid all award shows. Um, uh, but but uh, I said, well, sure. You know, because what else? What am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to say no to my newly widowed dad. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to say. Well, you can watch it, Dad. I think I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> right? No, no, I'm not. I'm not that heartless. Um, and I was sort of curious, you know, um, because I do enjoy the movies. I hate. The movie biz uh i hate a lot of the people who work in the movie biz and uh i think it's i think hollywood is is evil and depraved and satanic um and i more than that even if i didn't even if i didn't uh, have such a strong uh negative perception of hollywood there's something about the whole uh notion of you know like oh you you you're the movie of the year you're the director of the year you get you get an award you're you get to be nominated for an award that's that's somehow supposed to mean something because some group of people you know who are who call themselves the academy vote uh you know m mostly or often times for political reasons uh uh you know, uh, exclusively to uh, uh, bestow this these supposed honors upon you. I mean, it just sort of it, it just sort of makes me sick. Um, but it happened that last night I was uh, uh, there was there was this happy confluence where a, a movie that I that I really liked a lot, um, namely Oppenheimer was nominated for a ton of awards and uh and i i just wanted oppenheimer to just just run the tables i wanted them to sweep everything and so i had that i was just cheering for oppenheimer uh whenever there was a whenever someone was nominated um and it definitely seemed like christopher nolan was was like my impression was that he was he was taken in to the uh he was he was shown uh you know the 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 uh uh the secret rooms <laughs> the secret compartments uh that they have in the back of the of the academy awards you know the the um the all of the all of the special rooms where they do their their uh their uh, ceremonies and and uh you know call upon Moloch and so forth. Uh, you know, like he, he had been nominated eight times prior, uh, eight times he'd been nominated for best director and was, uh, uh, uh was, was O for, or, or seven times prior was O for seven. And this time with Oppenheimer, they said, okay, we're going to give it to you. And they gave, gave much more. To Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer won Best Supporting Actor, Best Actor, uh, Best Picture, uh, Best Cinematography, just, 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 you know, a ton of, of awards. Uh, and they, they uh, and Barbie got basically nothing <laughs> except that uh, um, Ryan Gosling got to perform his Ken song. Um, and he was he was pretty funny and everybody everybody loved it and uh 
so that was that was kind of interesting um to see uh you know the 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 ken phenomenon because i've heard heard so much about it i've heard how ken steals the show from people who have watched barbie and who think barbie is ironically uh you know uh, uh pro uh, pro man <laughs> without intending to be um uh i, I haven't I, I never cared to see it uh but but his his performance was was pretty pretty special um and i i enjoyed it and uh it it does seem that he does you know uh he does have the goods <laughs> he does uh steal the steal the show uh, uh he kind of stole the the award show um now there were over we I, we didn't see it from the very beginning to the very end but we saw the last couple hours of it i would say it was a lot less uh awful than i than i was expecting it to be the time we first tur turned over was when the, the john cena naked uh 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 prank was was going on i don't i still don't know what really that was all about jimmy kimmel was the host uh, uh, jimmy kimmel who called the uh the people who were um with uh, on wall street uh bets uh you know at the time that they've retroactively decided to make them into heroes and valorize them and make a movie about them saying that they're saying that these are these are the these are the little people who took on the the uh you know big brokerage uh houses and and bet on gamestop and stuff and i, I remember it actually in uh 2021 when that was all going down you know the the all of the uh major media was saying oh this this is a this is an alt-right <laughs> you know this is a bunch of anti-semitic alt-right people um but they turned on a dime when they uh when they saw there was there was something to be won from that um but anyway uh what was i saying? oh yeah kim kimmel said that they were russian disruptors in, in one of his monologues on his show so you know kimmel is is, is just he, he's he's gone he's just he's just gone he's he's um it's not even about liking or disliking trump it's just, it's just, you know, he, it's clear who he's getting his marching orders from, but even he wasn't, wasn't awful. You know what? He was generally inoffensive. He went off. There was a point where he went off on Trump for a, a tweet that tr Trump wrote about, about him, about Kimmel uh, and how lousy of a host he was, uh, where, where he read that back and, and, uh, you know, snarked at it. And, uh, that was, uh, I was like, that was sort of like, yeah. But then I also thought to myself, what? Well, why does Trump, why does effing Trump have to always insert himself into? Can't he just like, can't he just let it, let something happen? Can he just let the Academy Awards happen, and not say anything about anybody? Um, that's just not not Trump though. That's not that's not who he is. I mean, but I I, I find that. I find him to be uh, kind of tiresome in that way as well. Um, but uh, other than that moment, there really weren't all that many moments uh, of, uh, you know, um, that, that I saw of actors going up there and getting getting self-important, sanctimonious, and, and talking about some political uh, uh, issue or other. Um, Killian Murphy, when he won... He, he said, uh, uh, blessed are the peacemakers, you know, and I thought that was a, a, a tasteful way uh, of, uh, you know, maybe suggesting certain things uh, about what should happen in the world today, you know, without directly stating anything. And I, I thought, you know, the fact that he, was, he played Oppenheimer, who, who created the atomic bomb, unless that was all a hoax, I know, I know. But, um, uh, you know, that, that sort of, uh, so I, that should, that was like a tasteful way of, of being, uh, being sort of topical. Um, I don't know. 
the the director of the Zone of Interest, which I, again was is a movie that I I've praised and which I, which I like, he won for some like uh, foreign uh, film, best foreign film or something like that, and he came up and said and said that something like that the Holocaust is being exploited right now uh, to justify Gaza, what's happening in Gaza. That 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 was kind of kind of ballsy. Um, uh, so, I, so I guess there are ways where you can talk about stuff without it being like, uh, without just getting so full of yourself and so sanctimonious. Um, but what really the, the, the thing that I think made me the most, uh, uh, uncomfortable, um, uh, were and this I'm, I'm saying this to to all of you because I'm guessing that probably very few of you watched the Academy Awards and I didn't know uh, that that you, you know I, the last time I'd seen it was was maybe ten years ago twelve years ago something like that I mean I mean I've, I've made a concerted effort to avoid uh, awards sh shows um, uh, for the reasons I stated at the beginning of this video but um, I what i there's there's a, like for all of the the uh, best actor best actress best supporting actress best supporting actor for all of those where there's five nominees they have five guys other guys come out on the stage and praise each of the nominees so guy one says um you know uh, jeffrey wright you are just a wonderful person and you are so talented, and oh my gosh, I, I just, I, 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 I'm, I, 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 I'm just so blessed to be just standing 20 feet away from a legend like you. I mean, that, that's, that's what the, the Asian guy who was, who, the, the, who played Short Round, uh, and who was in that movie a couple of years ago, Everything, Everything All at Once, or whatever, which everybody liked, and I, I didn't, I didn't care for it at all. That was his, like some, some of the, pra some of like, so like the these introductions of all the, uh, of of the the people who were the nominees. Uh, some of them were were fine. Some of them were just, hey, you you brought life to this role, and that was you, you did this with the with the role, you know, like, uh, you said uh, like the guy who who introduced, uh, um. Uh, sorry, Ryan Gosling as Ken said, you know, you brought empathy to that role, and that's that's a role that's worthy. Show that's a role of, that's worthy of empathy, and and uh, that was good. And and so there was a good and a bad way to do it, but I just sort of thought the whole thing was a little egregious. It was a little a little uh, a little obsequious. It was sort of like we want to honor all all of the nominees by by. Uh, telling them all that they're great, having some other actor tell them that they're great before we choose the winner. Whereas before, it's just always been, here are the nominees, and then, and then they, they give the winner. But they tell us who the winner is. Um, let's see, anything else I should mention? Um, the Pacino... <laughs> Pacino was such a train wreck. Um, it was great. It was, it was really kind of funny. You know, he, he's 83, 84 years old. He, he doesn't give a shit. Uh, he comes out there. He, he's like doing the movie. He's like, his, it's like for the climactic, you know, best picture. And he just instead of, uh, Letting their instead of their of there being an announcement of all the nominees for for best picture, he just opened the envelope and says, "Ah, oh, I see well, the, what I see on the page is Oppenheimer." And it was just, it was just so funny. Um, <laughs> it was such a train wreck to end the night. Um, so I guess all in all, I'm I'm really quite surprised at how much I enjoyed watching the Oscars. How how relatively painless it was. 
um, you know, I, uh, there was, uh, one other moment where there was a, like the, the, they voted for best documentary and a bunch of movies that I hadn't heard of were introduced. And one of them was a Ukrainian movie about Maripol from the Ukrainian perspective, of course. And, um, and they won. And then the, the director came up and said stuff about, you know, Russia attacking Ukraine and, and all, and all that, which would have been cringe if it had been some Hollywood person, but this, this was a, this, this was somebody actually speaking from the heart. Um, so I, I could sort of respect it. Uh, you know, I could, I, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, in favor of, uh, of that. Uh, I, I'm, I think blessed are the peacemakers when it comes to Ukraine. Uh, and I think it's a complicated situation, but the guy who made this documentary and one, you know, I could understand that he was speaking from the heart in his perspective about, about Russian bombs falling and stuff like that, you know, which couldn't, which can't be great for, for, uh, for the people who are living there. But for, by the same token, you know, the people in Eastern Ukraine getting attacked by, uh, by the Kiev government is not great either, which has been also been happening sporadically over the last few years. So it's a complicated situation, but anyway, uh, so those were the only moments where things got really, you know, sort of stupidly political uh and one of them i could i could uh excuse because it was somebody who was actually directly involved in it and it wasn't just some hollywood you know washington dc cia stooge uh um and the other like uh like the one with uh the stuff about responding to, tr to Trump's tweet that, yeah, that was Kimmel doing that was tiresome, but, but Trump's tweet was also kind of tiresome. I just, you know, <sighs> you kind of, you kind of get worn out. You kind of get worn out with that stuff. And even people who like, who, who would want to see, who see Trump as the lesser of the two evils, still get a little worn out by, by Trump always having to insert himself, always having to be, uh, anyway, that's just my, those are just my thoughts, so those are my Oscar thoughts, take them or leave them, what did y'all think, did you watch, uh, if you didn't, I don't blame you, but for me, it was something to do with, uh, the, the Potter, and, uh, I'm happy I did it, and we, we kind of had fun, watching it together although it would have been more fun if mom had been around to watch it with us but anyway thanks for watching talk to y'all soon